Hey guys, let's continue on our journey through the sewers. Okay, yeah, let's uh, check this out. It's rusted, and if it's rusted, we would knock it over, dude. You have uh, two strong, like, mercenary badasses in training. Oh man, the old S crafts. So yeah, you can use your combos, but if you use it, that means you won't be able to use your S-Crafts as frequently, you know? They're starting off at 98. Oh. Eh. Okay. Yeah, that's the nice thing about you just playing on the PC. You can you have extra keybinds. Yes, crass for each character. Because so Joshua is number one in the party order, you just hit one when he has that red circle, and you use the yes, craft. And now we use oh what? Ah, I was hitting. T I was hitting one still. Um, the nice thing about crafts, as crafts, is that you can interrupt your opponent's turn with them, which is really nice. I'll try to show it in the next battle. So you can, if you're controlling like one character and you have your uh, craft gauge filled or whatever, you get two moves in a row. But it does use up your next turn. So it's not like you'd get three in a row if you're if it was one on one. So it can be risky too, but to finish off the enemy, it's great. Ah, you'll turn bonuses. As you can see on the scroll on the left, Joshua is going to gain like 10% HP. Fighting a lot of enemies here. Now we're jumping. We'll just use it on the far back. <laughs> Look at that ability, dude. There's so much damage. Oh. This is one of those rare games where both main characters are good. There's going to be a quartz we get later on. Uh, let's double strike. There's going to be a quartz we get later on that uh, is really amazing in Estelle's hands because she has this AoE attack. Oh wow, these things, these things hurt. Let's see if we can get through this without having to heal. Oh, someone's in critical damage. Music change time. You should be okay. Yeah. Curative horns. Is there any kind of horn? True. But what if, like, you had to smuggle illegal goods or something, huh? Yeah, then you'd be in trouble because of your morals. The F word. See what this chest has to say. By looking inside this chest again, you flunk. <laughs> uh, this treasure chest. Yes, yes. Want to heal up before we leave? 
And it's honest, we still haven't bought our dad that uh, newspaper. Let's remember to do that. Ah! Thought we'd be junior bracers by now. Yeah, pretty simple. Once you get done with the quest, you go talk to her. You hit report. Junior Bracers, ninth class. <laughs> Please be a severed finger. Oh, I was close. So close. <laughs> ah, so Cassius trained her. Dad seems to be some sort of badass. The silver streak. Yeah, right? <laughs> no good middle-aged man. That's like the worst insult ever. Those like wanted posters. Let's see if there's anything for us to pick up. No, talk to this guy. Bridge. Oh, we're the youngest to ever become bracers. Oh, that's cool. Quest we can pick up now.
<laughs> yeah, in what world is 16 mature? Well, I guess in JRPG parlance, 16 is basically 48. So nobody lives past 25. Unless your name's Sid. Let's uh, go inside the old general store. <laughs> so he gave us. 500 Mira, and what he wanted was only 100, dude. Score! Seems like everybody knows everybody. It's pretty cool. Celebrities? Recipe book, cool. Ooh, maple cookie. Man, I'm actually really hungry. That sounds good. Yeah, this is blah blah blah. If you eat food, you learn how to make it. Basically it. Can you imagine how amazing real life would be if that was the case though? Go to this fancy restaurant. Eat some of their food and find out exactly how they made it. Or you go to like McDonald's and you find out exactly how to make the Big Mac sauce. That's the dream right there. Let's see what else he has to sell. No, we're not spending all our money on that crap. Woo! Okay, so we do have a reviving balm. Okay. And what's cool is that when you mouse over the ingredients, or move over the ingredients, you can see how many you need for the recipes that you have. Like, we need one maple sugar to make a maple cookie. And we need a milled flour and milk. So it's like, you're never going to be buying ingredients um, blind. You know exactly what you need. Let's just do a little more exploring. Yeah, how does everybody know? Two lovers. <laughs> now, this is a game letting you know that things are going to take a slightly odd turn later on. Head on over to the cafe. Uh, from store or the like cafes you could buy recipes you can also buy food but i'm not gonna do that maybe i'll buy the the house recipe basically what it is God, all 
let's talk about food. Dude, I'm actually starved. What is my life right now? <laughs> Amalga mine, hey? Interesting. I already did it, lady. Is this like the Sunday school teacher? Living above the bar? Scandalous. I think there's something else we can get. Now that... A brace or someone else we can talk to. Another mention of the mine. Hmm. Oh well. Who cares? Hey. Oh. I think I might be in the wrong building. It's no big deal. It's not like for any bracer points or anything. I don't think so. That's where this little kid's from. This is the guy. I was going to record a couple episodes in this session, but I am just <laughs> so hungry, dude. What's wrong with my life? Let's do a little bit more exploring. Go. Uh, this place will become more important later. Wonder if there's any any treasure to get. I, I think I was right though earlier in that there uh, aren't like random items in the ground. Let's go in the weapon shop though. Oh, so we're working part time in a weapon shop? Cool. Oh, nice weapon upgrade. Could buy some boots. Oh, see, it's only three increase, but I want it. This is actually. <sighs> Might be worth it. Instead of buying this, uh, increase damage by three. It could give Estelle that and also buy a pair of boots. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ah! I don't remember money being too much of an issue in this game, so... Give you the boots. Some boots increase your movement, like some accessories. No, no, I, I, just really boots. Accessories also do different stuff. But 
So you definitely want decent boots whenever you can find them. See, it, this gives her plus 7 attack and plus 1 range. Whereas her birch staff gives her plus 3 attack and plus 1 range. Oh, no, wanted to go to the second floor. And there's not going to be a lot of action when you first get to a town. Because, uh, there's a lot of stuff to... A lot of stuff to go over. Um, I think that's about it. Let's, uh, head on out. Ran off to a tower. Well, next time we try to save Luke and Pat. Thanks for watching, everyone. I don't know.